Hey everybody. Well, I bought a cordless leaf blower from Amazon.com and I thought I'd go ahead and use it for my um well I use it for my backyard to blow out the leaves to make sure they're in orderly fashion so it'd be easier for me to pick them up. But I'm actually using this leaf blower for drying out my car after a car wash because this certain car wash I go to doesn't have a blower to dry the air um to blow the air the water off the off the car to dry up the the wet to dry off the wet um the wet car on the top of the car so what I instead of just using microfiber towels to dry up the car I'm using my blower so, I just got out of the car wash, and here we go. The blower. Shortly after, right here, using this blower to blow off the, the spots in the wet car. Make sure it's completely dry here. Very nice day, too. The sun was out, so that kind of helped me dry the, the car a little bit. What I normally do is I drive the car around town and try to get on the freeway to air dry it that way but I made the mistake of not having a full charge battery on this particular blower so what ended up happening was I was losing um, power so I wasn't getting that um, that f extra uh, power for the for the blower but um, I'm gonna start using it more um, actually I might do another video with it with the full battery charge with this particular blower from Amazon so yeah it's just it's not just a leaf blower I'm actually gonna call this a car dryer you know hair dryer <laughs> it's not a hair dryer but it's a car dryer by the way <laughs> it's new name and repurposed car dryer One thing I forgot to add, and I think is super, super important, is if you have um, the car dryer, aka leaf blower, is to have um, earbuds or um, ear muffs on. Ear muffs. Um, because it gets pretty, pretty loud. I don't know how loud, as far as decibel goes, but it's pretty loud. And you want that thing in your, in blowing in your ear and um, creating some temporary or even permanent hearing loss. So I, when, as I'm actually air air drying my car, I have my earplugs on, just to ensure that um I don't have that temporary deafness when using this product. But besides, all in all, I like it. Easy to use. It takes like one of those old school Dewalt batteries. Um, I think I'm using a six amp. I, I don't know. I can't recall. I gotta look at the battery. But yeah, it's pretty it's pretty durable. When I bought it, it didn't come with batteries. So I ended up buying the generic DeWalt batteries because it takes in the DeWalt batteries, which is pretty cool. This side was a little bit easier to dry because the sun was at it. But here I am blowing, blowing all that water out of there on this car. Again, thank you for watching. Um, my videos. I'm actually trying to figure out this new software, editing software I'm using called CapCut. Um, pretty cool. I really like doing videos and then doing the voice over over it. I believe it just makes it a little bit easier for me. and I don't have to really stutter and, and figure out what I need to think about when I'm talking in front of a camera. It really just flows a little bit easier for me when I do these voiceovers, but I don't know. Just playing around with it with the with video making, video creating, just trying to get back into it, because it's been a while for me. Um, I took a break after um, my school was done, got my bachelor's at, you know, University of Phoenix. Very proud to get that done, very happy. Um, don't know where life's going to take me, got promoted, which was great. So, um, I love how people go in the comments and say, oh, that's a fake school, but my question to them is, did you guys finish? Did you graduate? Did you put in the effort to look for other, um, you know, look for better opportunities than the ones that you're currently in your way? But that's a discussion that I don't want to have even mention or talk about. But 
yeah, just here making some videos, trying to get my passion back of creating videos. And here I am getting the last bit of the water off my car. Just a quick recap. If I were to do this again, one, I would get the full charge of my battery for my air blower, and two, I believe it's a lot more practical, you know, what you're doing and how to dry your car effectively. I think there's a certain way to dry your car. Again, it's like my first time drying it, so I'm going all over the place. I don't know where I should start. Should I start on the hood of the car? Should I do the side of the car first? Or should I go to the back of the car? But I think the most practical way is work your way to the back. So you want to just blow everything from the hood on to the back and then once you get to the back then blow through the rest of it you know all the stuff that's in by your trunk or your car blow all that back um because there's no there, the wind is not going to touch the back of the car as you're driving but it's just a observation i made but again thanks for watching um more videos to come um even if it's just like the same video here, me just drying my car for like the next two, three, <laughs> uh, next two, three videos. But thanks for watching, comment, and you know, if you feel like I brought value to this, to you, to this video, go ahead and um, subscribe. And thank you.